everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So, it is um, five days past when we last stopped. I decided to stay on the planet instead of jumping because I was hoping something good would come up in the command center. Plus, I wanted to get my pilot back, see if we can get out here and do something. Now, we had a, there was a two-skull base defense that I wanted to take, but it disappeared at the end of the month. No big deal. We're going to take this two-skull Steiner mission, though. I, I want to try out some of the new mechs today. We've got the Wolverine now. We've got the Halopolis. So I want to try those two out. Um, so let's go ahead and take this one. It is a capture base. It's against planetary governments. So we're not sacrificing any rep with uh, Rasselhag. So we're going to go ahead and take this one. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's go to the barracks real quick. Um, we do have some points to spend. I want to go ahead and add some points to tactics, I think. Getting that extra uh, point of initiative is going to help out. Um, and then I think Killjoy, yeah, Killjoy, we can get some gunnery on. Um, but I think I'm going to go piloting, or sorry, uh, Guts, just for the less chance to punch out. Uh, she's going to be running the Wolverine today, so I'm hoping... Actually, you know what, let's go with gunnery. Screw it, we'll just go gunnery. Why not? Go better, better chance to shoot. Uh, Mothman, let's go with... Hmm. Let's go tactics. Actually, uh, if we go... So we get the new vehicle skill here. Leadfoot gives us more, more vehicle movement. Plus 10%. Passive 1 hex. And 10% non-mech vehicle movement distance. This one is, that one's good for vehicles. So yeah, I mean, we could take that or we could go sensors. Let's do something different. Let's go lead foot and confirm that because why not? Training First pilot to get lead foot. Let's do it. Um, Puka, I think still pretty good. Sturm could use a point. Let's go in tactics. Uh, confirm that. Yeah, better sensors are always better. I know I was saving it up for gunnery, but I think I want a bit more tactics and then oh, wait, taser face. We're still good. Okay, so uh, command center. We're going to go full salvage on this one too. We need money, but it's the, the first day of the month. So we've got a few missions we can take here. Plus we've got the option to jump. Like, I mean, we could take this one and easily make salvage off that. Um, so let's go full. That should be pretty good, I think. Now, uh, let's try a little different. So Killjoy is going in. We're going to give her the Wolverine. When Griff's back, he's going to be piloting the Wolverine prop, most likely. And I'm going to pull out the Hunchback, and we're going to bring the Halopolis in. Hunchback's been running really, really well, but I do want to try this out, see how it goes. Um, we've got the weight, I think, to do this. The firepower. Yeah, too, yeah, we'll see what they got. We'll see what they can throw at us. And let's go. Command interface initiated. Alright, it's this base, damn it. Uh, okay, looks like we got guys at the start too. Uh, okay. So they got a support lance. Hopefully it's not two. It might be two. It might be very well be two lances to start. Ah, uh, this could be bad. I can't even deploy up here. Way back there. Oh man, I don't like being caught between a rock and a hard place, but I don't want to start down low. Oof, we don't got much room here. I got this back corner. And then, oh, we got over here too, which is kind of weird. This actually might be a better start location. Uh, where is the edge of the map? Way back here. So we got room. Uh, but we don't want to be down the hill. Maybe in here? Let's go in here. Um, sure. This could be bad. I don't know. I got a bad feeling about this. <clears throat> we need to make sure we hang on to the ammo so when, when we occupy the base that uh, we've got the ammo to fight the enemy. All right, we've got 12 rounds for the Thunderbolt, 20 for the Ultra Auto Cannon. we got a, a little over 10 turns of firing. Well, 12 turns of firing with the SRMs. we got about 12 turns with the Talos. Um, hmm. All right, let's go this way. Confirmed. 
We're okay with the griffin. So we should save the griffin as much as we possibly can. Urban mech. Pike support vehicle. That's got a lot of armor from what I remember. Prowler's not too, too bad. Alright, they're just spread out. So I think I feel a little safer. Marginally safer. Probably Move up bad. there. Uh, Cephalus. Hmm. I think we want to try and prey on this urban mech early. It's the... It's the LRM Lurban mech. Lerm Lerman mech. So move up there. Howitzer, we've got 18 rounds of firing with the howitzer. Plus a fair bit of firing with the LRMs. So we're not bad here. We'll move up. I want to get a position that. where I can see the enemy. Cloudbuster, switch these over. Um, same thing, we'll move up. I'm and going. then we'll get you maybe to support the Cephalus over here. Coffee. So as we're playing here, as we get move, we move in and start to fire, I want to talk a little bit about this idea I had on the way home from work. So I've been working on the next map for the next Battle Report series. Um, well, that's interesting. And the idea has changed slightly since the last time I was, like, I, I thought I had the second map put together, but after the, what I've learned from the first scenario we just played um, on the moon at Lockdale, I got an idea for a battle map that's going to be a little bit more um, flowy and organic, but that's beside the point. So I'm just thinking on the way home, I'm like, okay, so yeah. some people have said the one thing that was missing from Battletech was that, ooh, that's potential. Um, let's move up. Let's go to here. I don't think we're going to fire the Thunderbolt. We'll wait. We gotta get closer. These woods are killing us. 25%. Oh, we got a Francine too, huh? Griffon? Don't know what he's armed with, but whatever. We gotta shoot this guy down. Karnov. Transport with a thumper. That's pretty cool looking. Got no armor though. But it's pretty cool looking. We'll shoot it down with the flak. Um, why can't I escape from that? Okay. Uh, that was weird. Hit my escape key and nothing happened. Now I can't tell. Okay, well, we're just going to end our turn. Um, but anyway, I was just thinking, so the Overland map is kind of interesting, or not the Overland map, the, uh, Galaxy map is kind of interesting because they redid it from the original Battletech, right? Anyone that's played Rotech knows they got the whole Inner Sphere, plus some of the uh, clan homeworlds. They got everything, right? It's a fantastic map. And I was like, that's cool. But what if you wanted to turn that map from a galaxy map into a planet map? Hear me out for a second. So you take the you take that map, right? And rather than having all of the individual planets be planets, they're all locations on the ground somewhere yes, Commander. in wherever, like whatever planet you decide it's going to be, wherever you are, right? They all become individual locations, like a city or a town or, you know, a farm or something. I'm going to stay down here. I don't want to go up on the high ground and give them more chance to shoot at me. So we'll move up here, take a shot at this guy. And I think we'll go with, well, we got 18 turns of firing with this. Can move the tagger up though. So the idea would be is that, Target confirmed. you know, rather than ha I know it's, I know it's hard to do with Rogue Tech because Rogue Tech is, you know, has the online uh, map that's constantly updated, all that kind of stuff, right? And I, and I love that. I, I think that idea is fantastic, right? It allows people to play together and you know flip planets and stuff like that. But what if, rather than being like entirely space, you're fighting over a planet? Like it's a, all those locations could change based on the map that you created for the planet. So your travel time between planets would be travel time between whatever locations they are. So if it's a city or a town or whatever it is, right? It's just the travel time to go between one and the other, right? Um, so that's no problem. And then when you get there, you have missions based on the location. So like, for instance, right now when you get to a, a, a um, planet, it's got like, you know, temperate and it's got, you know, you know, city, whatever, right? So 
34. Those would change to only reflect whatever it was. So if it was like, if you're fighting in the desert, it would just be dead. It would just say desert, right? And if it was a city, it would just be city fighting. So whenever you go to a location, that's all it would give you. Now let's see if we can drop a round on somebody. So we've got standard and APFSDS. Wish we had HE. Um, who are we going to target here? Looks like it's like well, 2020. A lot less on the urban mech, which is kind of weird because most of us can see him. 37 on the pike. I think that's going to be our target. Oh, that's not bad either. On the prowler. Let's take the shot against the prowler. Uh, let's go with this one to do more damage to the armor. We hit. Fire. Come on. Nah, whatever. Um, but yeah, so like you could have a, you know, a, wor a flat world map with locations and then go to the different locations, right? Um, and then to do like advancement across the map board, you could have it so that like you have to, the jump points are only routed through certain areas. So through, if you want to get to another point, you got to go through this city to get there kind of thing. So you'd have to go to the city and, you know, whether you decide to fight there or not is irrelevant, but you still have to go that way to, to be able to get to wherever you want to go oh to. Boy, here we go. Uh, I just thought it would, it would kind of be neat. And then you could change the amount of missions that are located in a certain area. Um, you know, but then you could like, you could really make it specific too, right? Which I think would be cool. Ah, shit. Head hit. Figures. I'm gonna shoot him anywhere. Might as well be in the head. Of course like you are. <sighs> really? Ah, funny. I thought we were done already, Darius. God, the Zoria's gonna die if we don't kill that thing. I can't get a bead on it. Can't get a bead on it. I think they something happened with the aircraft like targeting. And I don't know if it's all been fixed yet. Oh, those are just oh man, aircraft. Could be bad. But yeah, I think I, I thought you know I thought it might be kind of interesting. So you could have, I mean, it would have to definitely have to be, be a plug-in, and I am not the person to do it, of course, because I just don't have any kind of programming skills at all. I'm gonna pull back here. Um, so I have like zero programming skills. So there's no way I would be able to do it, but I could definitely come up with the scenario and the map and all that kind of stuff. But I I couldn't do any programming. But I thought it would be kind of a neat idea. So rather than fighting for the galaxy, you're fighting for a planet, you know. Probably take a lot of coding and a lot of, you know, a lot of other, a lot of other stuff to get it to work. Like I, I could imagine how many mods would have to be changed, and maybe it wouldn't be that bad. I don't know, but it sure feels like it would be bad. Okay, so you got an auto cannon. It looks like that's the guy that's got to go. Twenty-three, twenty-eight. That's really good on this yellow jacket. I think we go after this one. If we can take it down, I think, before it gets close. Um, yeah, hopefully he doesn't have AMS. I doubt it, but I guess we're going to find out. Well, we got exposed structure on it. That looked like a mech. Standing by. That's on who? Karnov? It's only going to be the largest laser, though. Man, a chance to hit is so garbage. <sighs> on my way. Double time. We'll get you next turn. So you're an AC bugger and I don't know what you are two energy weapons let's hope they're medium lasers 
Yellow Jacket's got the Goss Rifle. We're gonna put the, uh... Oh shit, this guy's got a pair of Rotary Fives. Holy crap! I think we shoot this guy. Taking the shot. Nice. Okay, we got first blood. Smoked one. First blood. Hopefully we can get that uh the cloud buster in here to get, to pull down these other guys. Ooh, somebody was uh overusing their mask. Somebody was overusing the mask. This is putting me in a bit of an ex exposed position, but we want to try and pull this guy down, so... Not the flea. This guy. Uh, let's hope we do well here. Okay, we got one hit. We should be able to finish him off with the LRMs on the, uh... Hopefully, we can finish him off with the LRMs on the, um... Halopolis. I got a feeling the Halopolis is going to be the ringer. It's going to be the mech that's like the last mech standing, probably. Yes, Commander. This one, on the other hand... Ooh. Yeah, it's like if we go here, we're kind of... Well, it's a, a hill's right here. I think we can stay hidden if we stay here. So let's expose more or less the back and the other side, like that, I'm there. and hopefully we kill this guy before he gets a chance to shoot again. Cluster round, we just gotta hit the front. Just plank him, man, do it. Oh. Of course. We got one hit on the front. <sighs> but of course. Waiting for orders. But of course. I think maybe we just shoot. And hope for the best. I think that's what we do. Yep. Oh my god, really? When does he go? Oh, I thought that was going to hit for sure. Whenever the camera zooms in like that and you hear a Goss rifle, I automatically think it's going to hit me. We got to kill that Uzi though. That double rack five is going to cause somebody a lot of pain. Hopefully that's the last turn you get to shoot, buddy. Who's up next? We go on what? Killjoy, taser face on 16. When is this guy going? I have no idea. Okay, so he's only got a pair of medium lasers. I thought it was largest, but that's the other uh, Kar Karnov. This guy here. He didn't move very far, so hopefully it gives us an opportunity. Never mind, he gets to move after he shoots. It's pretty cool that it's an aircraft now, though. Yes, Commander. I'm really liking that. All right, let's... Um... Oof. What if we try and take this car off? Let's get into here. Good to go. This will give us the opportunity to pull him down, I think, now. He goes on 15, so we gotta take it. I mean, that's an okay chance to hit, but I think we really need to go after this guy. Uh, do I want to go with rockets? You know what, we put the rocket 10 on. If I don't shoot them... We won't get the kill, but if I do shoot them, maybe we get it. I don't know. There we go. Yeah, I'm kind of lucky. I'm glad I shot them now. Excellent. No Thumper gone. Range missiles remaining. Zoria's happy about that, that's for sure. Puka's like, I, I'm not going to die this turn. Yeah, you back up. Yes. 
Gonna get you into the woods. Aye, aye. Get up to here. Affirmative. Let's see wh how much damage we can do to this guy. Okay, large hit. There goes the leg. Target's taking a critical hit. Come on, Bubba. Bail out. No? Alright. Fair enough. Okay. Now we gotta decide who are we going after here. Let's keep our distance. Move up a bit. I wanna face the uh we want this yellow jacket, I think. I wanna face that Uzi in case he comes up over the hill this turn. There you go. Look at that. Bye. One less target. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Thank you for showing up. Okay, some of the big guns are off the field. The rack is really this guy here is the guy that we gotta worry about. Right here. Okay, you can cut it out now. Okay, same angle back and left way. side. We'll take a pot shot at distance. Actually, can we hit we can hit this guy? Where do I go after the aircraft? So what do we got here? 60 and 54. And where are you? Karnov. Yeah, we go after the, uh... We go after the urban mech. It's really the only choice here. Yeah. Um... So he's got the LRM in the arm, I believe. It's got 50... This has got 56... 54. Much better chance to hit the torso, though. So let's go after the torso. Okay, firing a bit. Wow, we missed, but we did hit the uh, this aircraft back here, I think. Yeah, we did. Connected with a couple rounds of the clusters. Fine, fair enough. That flea is going to die horribly. Orders. He's suffering from the same problems we've had for a long time, where it's like... Let's get up here. Hopefully give that Uziel something way. to shoot for later on. Um, he suffers from the same thing where you get caught down here and you can't do a damn thing the whole fight. Oof, that's terrible. Let's try and kill this guy. Okay, right torso's gone, so he doesn't got much left. I think I hit something good. Doesn't got I'm much here. left. We gotta move. We can't stay there. Let's move down here. On the way. We're gonna shoot this aircraft though. I don't I mean I could try and kill the urban mech. A little higher than that. Um, how much damage has he got internally here? That could be a kill shot. Or if we go after this guy. Yeah, I think it's better to go after the urban mech if I can click back over to him. Probably not. Let's get the kill on this guy if we can. Let's go CT. Okay, beautiful. Take the bailout any day. They're gonna plink you like forever here. Okay, so they only had three in the support lance. They're gonna have a full lance though after we take the base, I think. Ooh, we can get a shot at this Uzio, but I don't wanna be uh I don't wanna be not in the forest. I think moving up is a bad idea though. Let's back up a bit. Helopolis can take it. It's got the armor to take it. I mean, it's not fully armored, but it's armored enough to take it, I think. Gotta watch my ammo here. Attacking from position. Nothing. Damn. I missed. Waste of rounds. Good thing we still got SRMs left. At least we'll be able to do something in the next... The next fight, if there is one. Okay. That's all you got, huh? So we got an enforcer, a flea. One, two, three, four, five, six guys left. 
Right, two, four, yeah, six. Commander. Uh, let's not let get. Let's not let you get exposed here. I don't think this is enough cover to protect us if the Uzio moves up. I mean, it kind of looks like it does, but if he moves up even just a little bit, it's going to be enough. So let's just. Um, is there a good rock we can hide behind on this side? Not really. Not reliably. So I'm going to pull back the... here. I gotta, re I gotta dart in and out with this guy now. We gotta maximize our evasion. He's in a fight that he shouldn't really be in. Commander. Alright, you... I'm gonna back you up. Normally I would push forward, but that Uzio with the double, uh... Engaging with the double, target. uh, racks. Ooh, man, you're hitting with that! That's gonna hurt. Maybe it's the mech. You know, maybe it is the fact that the, uh... The griffin is cursed. Or not the griffin, the, uh... Yeah, the griffin. Maybe the... It's, it is the fact that it's cursed. Rolling. It could very well be. It would not shock me in the least. All right, let's land one. Here it comes. Ah, for Christ's sake. Really? Gonna make me waste the Zorya on this thing again. Oh, is he coming up that hill? Starting to. I have to watch out for that guy. Okay, here comes the Uziel. Yeah, he would have been in a perfect position to go after the uh, Cephalus. So we still got Puka left. Who's left over here? Oh, the Griffin. So I don't think that Griffin's um, mask has been destroyed. It's probably just taken one bit of one uh, damage point on it. Yes, commander. Yes, commander. Oh man, do I want to move up? I think we do. Let's get into here. Moving to position. I think we're down. Like I think that's gonna like this hill here is enough protection for a vehicle from that Uziel. He's not in a good position. So ah oh, man, it's terrible. Firing I was gonna say all we need to do is hit with one, but it looks like we hit with two and did nothing. That looked like a critical hit. Yeah, I still did nothing to him though. Can we get a shot on this Uzio? Wait, uh, this is Helopolis. Okay, I don't think so. That's the Griffin. Um. Let's push forward. Let's just do it. Screw it. We gotta get some work done here. So we can go to flak mode here, right? Oh, it doesn't have flak mode. And direct does not work against aircraft, apparently. Yes, I fire all this. Should be enough, yep. Okay, all the flyers are down. Enemy down. Now really it's the Uzio, and then whatever this enforcer can throw at us. I don't know if it's the AC-10 Enforcer. What is the, uh, four, I think the 4P, I, I don't think it's a pirate version. I think it's just a, uh, an AC-10 version. Could be wrong. AC-10 or AC-5. All right, hold on, nothing. Yeah, we got no info on it. Yep. Oh man, I think I'm gonna reserve until I can find out what this uh, UZL is gonna do. We'll give you the turn, buddy. You did, you got those racks. If you want to use them, you come and use them. If you don't want to use them, then you stay still and we're going to come and get you. You can't have a lot. He's only 50 ton max. We can't have a lot of armor with those things on there. Because I think the, the... Aren't the rotary fives like 10 ton each, 10 tons each or something? I'm pretty sure they're 10 tons each. Who's that? Who that? That's the uh, enforcer. Here he comes. Okay. Let's see if he's giving it to us here. 
we got to attack him. We've got to move in and get him this time. I'm not going to wait for him to shoot now. He's in a position that he can move out and get a shot at us, so if we can silence him before then, or at least rip one of his arms off, yes, Commander. that is something that we definitely want to do. Although I don't want to do it while I'm in the open. Although it looks like that's the only thing we can do here. Actually, I'm going to reserve you, because I'm interested to see how far Sturm can get on that guy. Oh, for fuck's sakes, really? We're going to have such a... We better do something really good against this guy. Oh, you can. Okay. Can we get a good line? We can get a good line of sight on him. Uh, what's the close range for this thing, though? Minimum range is what? Can't fire targets closer than 150 meters. So, um... I think we're good there, but it's going to be a garbage shot, though. I don't want to be, like, turning my side to him. So I think the bright white here, I think that's 150 meters, if I'm not mistaken, which I guess it kind of looks at this since it's a football field and a half. So maybe I'm, I'm okay here. I don't think I'm okay here, though. That's an iffy shot. Ah, fuck, do we do it? Let's just do it. On my way. There's no way to know, but we'll find out in a second. Yep, it's fine. Okay, good. Uh, let's switch to take the armor off. I'm going to put the rockets on. I want everything on this guy because I want him gone. So he can't have a lot of armor. 65, yeah, he's pretty low here. 90 in the CT. Oh, yeah, nice hit. Okay. Short range missiles are out. Stripping that armor. How are we doing here? That was a leg hit mostly. Damn it. Oh, okay. Receiving you. He's going to shoot at me. I know he is. Not as good as I'd like it, but... Okay, looks like one of the racks may have hit. Standing by. Um... Ooh, that guy's got a uh, good position. Get behind this rock over here. Drop some lerms on this motherfucker. Not you. Not you, Franchi. Wow. Okay. Wow, we're hitting his legs. I mean, it's good for salvage, but, like, bad for, uh, saving ourselves. Do we go all in? Can we go all in? That's the question. Ooh. Oof. Brutal. Uh. Brutal. I'm going to bring him around here. There's no point attempting the low chance to hit. Let's come around this side. Stay hidden, and then we're going to dart out against that Uzi. We're going to need another turn on it, so... Uh... That's fine. Aye, aye. You, on the other hand, will vigilance. Can we, get, we can get a good side shot on him from where? It was a good shot here somewhere. Ah, uh, it's right in the flames, though. That freaking figures... Wow, that's not a good shot. Uh, can we get back here? That's our full speed, eh? Well, we can run with the mask on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, a little better. I figured it would be a little better, but I don't know. 
Let's hope we land something. Copy that. Okay, a few sensors on him. Yes, Commander. Okay, um... If I bring you up, it's a sacrifice. He's gonna shoot you. You know damn well that's what he's gonna do. Onward. Fingers crossed, though. Fingers crossed that it's splash, or we get a good hit on this guy. So 27 damage, so he's braced in here, and he's probably got, um, what's it called, uh, the reduction armor. Didn't no, it did not hit. Damn you. Uh, we're all going really low here. He's going on, oh, these guys both go before me. Well, I kind of wasted the, uh, the vigilance, but we had to take a shot at, oh man. A little more damage I was expecting to take from you. What's this guy going to do? What would I do? I would probably back up and try to shred the Wolverine. That's what I would do. Because otherwise he's going to leave himself fire, open man. to attack from everybody. Like, he could get the kill here. Definitely possible to get the kill on this guy. But he's going to leave himself exposed. Oof. Okay. Decided to leave himself exposed, did you? Really? You got two rotary fives and you didn't even use them. Rotary fives. He didn't even use them. My wife told me about this anime. I don't even remember the name What's of it. It was such pick? a long time ago. She oh my god. Okay, he's got a big gun. At least we're in the trees here. Got it. Yeah, so she told me about this anime. <laughs> I don't even know what the name of it was. I don't even know what it was about. All she said was there was a line in it, and she's like, she just couldn't believe her ears. But it was one Got character it. says to the <laughs> says to the other, "Your poop." He didn't even eat it, and I'm like, Commander. that had to be translated wrong. She's like, nope, apparently it wasn't, and I'm like, how how. How is that even a line that anyone would consider saying to somebody else? <laughs> like how is anyway, whatever. <laughs> Anime. Oh man. Um Yeah, I'm gonna push you. On the move, full speed. I feel confident we can defeat that Griffin. Once this guy's pulled down, that Griffin's just gonna be bad bad news for him. Um I think we're gonna go with everything on this guy. Oh man, really? No SRMs remaining. Oh, my internals are taking a beating. Yeah, that's uh, my fault. Sorry about that. Ah, oh, fucking nothing. Awaiting orders. Yeah, see, this is the thing. You gotta like remember to turn the damn thing off. So we got hit in the leg. So he did 85. So let's make sure our sides turn to him. It's a bad position to be in. Way. But I want this Uziel gone. So let's go for it. Ah, please hit. Firing a full salvo. Sensors. They've blown past my armor. Yeah, that's my bad. Ten points left in the back. One of the arms is almost gone. Ah, oh, man. Right here. I can't. Roger you can't that. move in because they'll just kill you. But we can't keep shooting them. Really? Maybe not. A little more in the Griffin. That guy's overheated too. 18 on the Prowler. Let's not get him shooting at you. 13 on the Flea. Nah, we'll hope for a plank on this guy. Nothing. It's fine. Bad luck. Ah, bad luck. It's 
all of us have got bad luck. Uh, you need to reserve because we need to get you out of there first. Yeah, because we're going to do splash damage in a second and you do not want to be around for that. So let's get back here. Got it, Commander. Yeah. Fuck. That's not in range. Just, there we go. Oh man, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I thought we would, I thought we could at least rip aside or do something to this guy. Oh man. Copy that. All the important stuff missed. Uh, hopefully we get initiative. Nope. Garbage initiative again. Oh, he goes on 12. Wait, who went on 13? Did he miss this time? So he, he might have a heavy rifle with APDFS ammo. Or some other, maybe maybe the 4P is a pirate version. It's got some kind of weird ass weapon. Who goes on 13? Cephalus. I mean, we could backstrike him. Could backstrike him. He will probably melee after that. Okay, the Griffin is blocking, or the Wolverine's blocking me from the other guy. Well, the other guy's already gone. So I'm going to actually Vigilance again here. Hopefully get more initiative for next turn. And we're going to put everything into this guy's back and hope for the best. Roger, Commander. Angle is good. Damn. Well... Good damage, just not enough. Maybe we can... Uh, he's not panicked, though. I was going to say, maybe he'll panic or do something, but... I don't know. Reporting heavy fire. Yeah, you're getting out of there. Just... Give me a minute. My vehicles are pretty much useless at this point. Man, I pushed that guy hoping that the vehicle would do something, but... Watch my stick. Ah, shit. Well, there's the sacrifice. At least it wasn't on a mech. Okay, one at a time. Yes, Commander. God, bad positioning. We'll go right there. How much we can really do here? I'll leave this off for now and fire the rest. Let's hope we get them. Got the angle. Take Here's the time. tag hit. Large one hit. There you go. Okay, good. Ugh. So that's our dropship. So this might be it. It might just be these lances and then we're done. Yes, Commander. And maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. Let's move back here. Hopefully we're getting really good distance out of their sensor ranges here. I'm gonna drop it on this guy. Engaging. Alright, three points. Location confirmed. Side shot, please. This guy's not moving very far, so yeah, so not bad. Zeus and Snub PPC. All right, uh, let's dial this up back up to two. Hammer him. Okay, not bad. Yep. Same thing, Sturmy boy. Hammer him. Uh, yep, yeah, we want APFS DS and firing. Confirm. Miss. And the layer, large laser missed too. Okay, we blew through something though. Scored a critical hit. Is that the torso? If it was the LRM5 Zeus, yeah, it's the torso. Okay. Yes, Commander. <sighs> He'll run behind me. He goes on 15, right? We've got Killjoy on 15 as well. I mean, if I if I rush him and try to OP his torso, that might drop his initiative, which means we can get... Uh, 
Killjoy in there as well. So if we go there, I'm gonna try this, Moving see out. what happens. Gonna push him a little bit. And then we're gonna do OP. Probably won't hit the torso, but if we do, great. Copy that. All right, one hit, two hits. It's not where we wanted. Did that push his initiative back? Yes, it did, three, nice. That actually might push it back far enough for some of our other guys? No, Telos might be able to go before him. Standing by. Ah, fuck. Get in the trees. Moving to position. That enforcer's gonna shoot at you again. Alright, fire everything. Let's hope we get that torso. Firing on target. Ooh, that laser is connecting, and I'm enjoying that very much. Scored a critical hit. Okay, he's panicking. Who do we have? I got Granite right after him. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's backing up. He's, he's gonna fire everything now. Here it comes. Oh, really? That's baffling. I'm okay for now. They should do a, um, I don't know how they work the AI, but if a mech can only do, like, for instance, the LRM-5s, it should calculate the damage, what, what it can do at that distance. And if it can barely do anything, it should always go just back into direct fire mode. It's only going to go one. We've got to save some ammo here a bit. And firing. Roger. Yeah, we missed with the, uh, we missed with the Thunderbolt. Ow. So 68 this time. It may have been 68 last time. I thought it said 88. Right here. I could be uh, just losing my mind, which is highly probable. So. Highly probable. Let me shoot this guy. Hope for a lucky hit on the lucky torso. Target. Wow, two hits. Nice. Nice, Gary. So they got four left. Yeah, now that the dropship's here, I'm thinking that all we have to do is move into the capture zone and it's over. Waiting for orders. Yeah, okay. Move up to here. Coordinates received. So, I mean, overall, I mean, the, the new mechs have allowed us to stay in the fight longer. Nice, good torso damage. He does not have an XL, unfortunately. Critical hit. Well, that recoil would have been, upper mount recoil would have been nice. Ready for orders. Now, do we switch targets, or do we... This guy can't have too much left. He's got his energy left, eh? Alright, taser face. Lousy name, good pilot. Um... That's going to give him the opportunity to get behind me. I think most of the places over here will give him an opportunity to get behind me. I wish I could just go down and go after this vehicle. I could go after the flea, though. Well, I guess I can't really. Oh, maybe. No, he can still see me. Don't think that's enough for a back strike, though. Like that, probably? Like, we should be turned enough that if he shoots at me, it'll be a side shot. Oh, uh, maybe not. Well, too late now. Oh, he's got a large laser. Let's hit him hard. He's got a large laser. Might be able to drop a howitzer around on his ass, though. Uh, can we avoid... Yeah, we can. We're gonna move up to here. Moving out. I don't want a direct line of sight to this guy. We're gonna move the Griffin out of there too. I'm gonna fire these all singly. Here it comes. AC hit, nice. He's panicking, he's unsteady. Yeah, he may have just backed up behind us if we moved over there. Barely hit. 
Barely hit, Get Commander. Ahead. Yeah, that guy can still get a side shot on me, but not much we can really do about it. We want to kill this griffin as fast as we can, so we'll just stay in the trees. Shooting this guy. Here it comes. Couldn't tell if the large laser hit there. If it did, it penned, so... I wonder if he's got a howitzer. Come on, send me a real mech warrior. I'll tell you what, you and him can duel it out. Yeah, AMS. Did it actually do anything though? Zero from fifteen. That's the thing, you get those AMSs and it's like you see it firing off, and you're like, yeah, shoot those missiles down, then it's like zero from whatever, and you're like, really? Thanks for showing up to the fight and helping out. I like the idea though that they incorporated where the missiles have different like variability of how much um, how many hit points they have so different types of AMS won't shoot down like Standing by. you know if there's like like heavier um, like missiles that have a lot I'll more hit points try. it's much harder for them to shoot them down 11 18 I think we're gonna go against that guy 9 and this guy is out of range Help out over here. Two hits. I'll take it. Aye, aye. Could take a back shot against the guy back here, but... That's actually a pretty good shot in that guy. And respectable on this guy, but I think... Well, we have a choice. Roger. We have a choice, apparently. So, 56... 43, 69. Yeah, I think we go after this guy. Try and apply some more damage if we can. He's got half decent armor. Doesn't say what he's got, though. Locked on top. Okay, large laser hit. Nice. Bunch of missiles. For 75 tons, this Holopolis loadout feels really weak to me, but... It's just a heavy mech, and it's got lots of armor, so I'm using it. Get into here. Let's hope. Uh, I think the uh, thunderbolt's too close. Yeah, we'll save it. Fire the rest. Gage. It's just a it's just a heavy mech that's got lots of armor and about the same amount of weapon systems as I could put on anybody else. So I just would rather have a mech with more armor that's slower. Yeah, you shoot me. Go ahead. It's all yours. That's not that's not doing anything. Awaiting orders. That's not doing a damn thing. Alright, can we get mask is still down to ten percent? Get a side shot in this guy. Let's get around here. Going to fall I think throttle. we're going through flames though, aren't we? No? Oh we're not. Beautiful. Excellent. Hammer him. Engaging target. Tags on. Okay. Yes, Commander. Hmm. Nope. Here. Ooh. Ah, trees. No, I think we got to go here to keep our back against the wall to keep that flea from, like, flanking us. Did we go through the fire? I think we did. Can't tell. To be able to tell here in a second. Don't have the same movement we did before. I don't think we did actually, but I'm gonna fire it all anyway because we gotta get this guy down. Target. Yes. Enjoy it, baby. Reporting critical hit. Bail. Bail, bail, bail. You know you want to bail out. I'm tired of fighting you. There you go. Or die. That that's that's just as good. Ah, I'm sorry. Sort of disappointed about the um, oof. That was a hundred. Maybe he's got an AC twenty. Reporting heavy damage. You think? Yes, commander. Don't move. Eleven percent. What do we got on some of these other guys? Thirteen. 
And out of range. I think we go after this guy, though, and start stripping his armor. Lucky if we can. Target. So my problem with this guy now is if he's got a really close range AC, it's probably a pirate version. That's why we're getting variable damage. So... Uh, I gotta back up to use my howitzer, or else I'm using, uh... <laughs> Good to go. Like... Oh, man. This is gonna be bad. Uh, that was the arm. What do we have in there? Nothing, right? So the LRMs are there. The large lasers in that arm. Pretty much giving it to him by doing this. I'll lower my chance to hit and back up this way. Looking out. Then we'll use um, vigilance here to get rid of the instability. Still target this guy. We got two rounds left with the regular or the how this howitzer ammo. Ah, uh, yep, here it comes. Confirm. Nothing. Ah, oh, man. Let's go. Commander. That's not bad. Let's get back here. We gotta get on this guy now. I'm gonna leave the Wolverine to handle the Griffin. But we gotta get on this guy. I gotta lose this arm if we can get it. If we can get it. Firing. Okay, one of the, the AC hit, some SRMs hit. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. It's a, it's a start. I'm not feeling comfortable about this all of a sudden. Commander. It's getting real close. I know I could have meleeed him, but I'm gonna shoot it all here. Affirmative. Scored a critical hit. One of his lasers destroyed. He's not bailing out, eh? We still got the Cephalus to come around and attack him, so we're gonna do that in a second. Okay, he missed this time. He's hitting about 50% of the time, which has me concerned. Alright. Mademoiselle Taserface. Let's get to a blue line. Copy that. And hopefully we don't shoot our own guy, right? Right? You promise me? She's like, I ain't making any promises. Uh, we're only going to shoot two. Because I want the speed to chase down that prowler. Ah, uh, we shot our own guy. Because of course we did. Uh, of course. Orders. Backing me into a corner here, ass. Okay, let's back up over here. And let's hope we get a hit here. He does have an AC-20. I'm interested to see what ammo he has. AC-10 ammo, gone. Right here. Wow, 4% now. Oh. We hit with two, though. <laughs> I don't even know. Ready for orders. Can we afford an AC-20 hit? Where would we lose... We wouldn't lose anything completely, but we would be stripped. The head would be the only thing we'd have to worry about, really. Uh... Let's get up here. Shoot this guy. Let's hit him, please. Yes, they both hit. Nice. We've opened something up. I don't know what it is, though. Ooh, did we get a head hit? We did. 
that would have been the Thunderbolt. All right, that's not bad. Yes, Commander. Um, let's start cleaning this up. Thirty-three, huh? Well, we go before the uh, the uh, Griffin with our Wolverine, so let's go after this guy. Alright, let's shoot this guy. Um, I'm gonna go with um, four. Sure. Engaging. We got two on, not bad. He's got half decent amounts of armor too, though, so it's gonna take a while to grind this guy. Weaponry's not too All bad. Right. Let's get down here. Confirmed. I love how heat neutral this thing stays. Can fire everything and not really worry about it. Beautiful. Let's hammer this guy. Come on, go down. Nope. Reporting critical. Oh, beautiful. I was going to say please bail out. And he did. By. And he did. That guy doesn't have indirect, but we're still going to keep our ass facing towards him because... Better play, I guess. Ah, oh, shit. I should have given you a 4% chance. Maybe you would have landed one more. Alright, here he comes. Another hit. I'm glad this Helopolis can take it. Alright, we're going to try and get to his other side. Got past my armor. It did. Who is that? Griffin? No, Prowler. Really? What do you need? Oof. One more shot like that in the leg. So that's the uh, left side. Turn the right side Roger. to him? Okay, well. Let's hope for the best. Maybe. Firing. Ah, man. This thing is not putting any damage out. Commander. Okay, where's the ass end of this thing? Right back there. Roll to that. Get ready for a surprise! Here it comes. On your pace. Well, not bad. Four hits. Maybe we can eventually panic Standing him. By. Yeah, maybe. All right, side shots. I'm gonna see if I can bring the Talos and shoot the side as well. Let's get some more sensors in there. Uh, apparently, it's gonna fire even though I was clicking on sensors, but whatever. Receiving you. It's done that a few times to me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like I just went to click on the sensors and it just fired. But whatever. Whatever. Alright, we're gonna go single shot. And let's hope for a head hit. Nope. Nice. Got past his armor. Right here. Nice. Destroyed his shoulder. All right, don't move. Just shoot him. Engaging. One, two, three hits. Nice. Pretty good for thirteen percent, and we hit with two hits on with, at four percent. So I don't know if the percentages are correct, but oh, this guy's accurate. But I'm slow as shit too, so that Armor doesn't help. Blow through. Internal damage. We've got to end this guy. I just don't have the firepower. Can't imagine what the recoil's up to on the uh ready for orders. On the howitzer. T 
tell you what. Let's take a turn. Move into position. Go indirect here. See if we can score a hit on this guy. We got four turns of LRM fire left. Engage and start. Then it's going to be all about the Wolverine at that point. Scored a critical hit. It's going to be all about the Wolverine. Shit, I can't get his... How badly is his... Uh... Yeah, we want to blow through the... Maybe I mean, we can blow through the torso. I can't get to his side, though. He's, in, he's positioning himself really well. That's not bad. That's our last uh, Thunderbolt round. Hope we hit it. Okay, we did. Something went off his arm. Target's taking a critical hit. Okay, he's panicking. Are out. There's the flank attack. He's going to turn and shoot at this guy. Giving him a juicy target. Unless he hits... If he doesn't... As long as he doesn't hit the leg, we're okay. Put the sensors on. And firing again. Firing all weapons. Ah, the large missed that time. Oh, we got the left leg, though. Target's taking a... Oh, he bailed out. Thank you. Thank you, RN Jesus. Man, we got lucky there. Where are you going? Orders. Copy that. Let's get up here to shoot this guy in the back again. As long as he keeps shooting the LRMs, we're just going to target his backside. Hopefully, well, of course, we got we shot all the side when we should. We're shooting him from behind because, of course, what else do we do? Standing by. Much as I want to drop uh, an artillery round on this guy. We're a little too close for that. So, just go with the LRMs. We'll back up next turn. Okay, exposing the structure. Gotta like it. Yes, Commander. You're way too far away, but can we sprint closer? Uh, not really. Accelerating to location. Aye, aye. All right, let's move up a bit. Take a shot with the ER large. Wow, we got a lot more range with this thing than I thought we did. So that tagger actually has really good range. I thought tags were fairly to like 600 meters, right? What's the range on this guy? Um, 540. So that's only 540 meters. Sure. That should be enough. There we go. I was going to say that large laser hitting should have been enough. Target eliminated. Okay, let's just hope aye, aye. for our sake there's no more reinforcements. Commander. Alright, I'm going to run these guys into the base and um, or at least I'm going to run the Cephalus into the base and I'll be back in a second. Standing by. Alright, here we go. Taser face should be able to just run in there now. Yep, perfect. And that should be it. We're going to brace here. Down. Just hope they don't spawn anything. There we go. Beautiful. Mission successful. I am definitely not going to say that was a well-played match. That was okay. Uh, I'm just glad we brought the Holopolis. It had the armor to survive that AC-20. Oh man, we almost lost the torso. Which wouldn't have been much. I mean, we had the missiles in there. Plus, oh, I guess it would have been a lot for me if we lost that torso. All right, what do we get salvage-wise? I'm really hoping that there's... Um, oh, man, there's a whole griffin here. Oh, almost a whole griffin. So it's the France, the special mech. So I think with the specials, you just can't add another mech part to make a griffin. You have to have all the special pieces. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But that's actually not what I'm interested in at the moment. Hopefully we get one of these car knobs. That'd be nice if we get enough pieces from that. What I am interested in, though, is those racks, if they survive. So there is a rotary there. Thumper. Um, 
Ooh, a light engine. I'm going to toss that in there for a second. Fire control system AC2. I don't know how the, who had the AC2. It's probably a Karnov. Double plus gyro defense. Evasion pips gained from movement. Maximum evasion. And uh, that's actually really nice too. Double heat sink kits. We could really use one of those, I think, right? Yes, we could. Slick Sweet's kind of nice. And we got Rack Flak Ammo, and that's it. Really? I'm going to take it because it's a Rack 5, and I can't not take it. And I just have to decide here. Um, this Gyro, I'm going to, as much as I want the double heat sink kit, I'm going to take the Gyro because. I almost never see this gyro. Almost never. And it's definitely a good gyro to have. Um, definitely a good gyro to have. So I think we take that. Yeah, I don't know who had the AC2s. A pair of AC20s down here. Alright, let's see what we get. Alright, Enforcer Flea, Griffin Peace, two Karnovs. Three. Three. Ah, well. Bolt on 15, that's actually not bad. Armor, which we can just go ahead and sell. Basic cockpit we can sell. The 40 and the 60 can go. Internal combustion engine can go. That can go. Don't want to sell that. Range sensors, that's actually not bad. 10% of total range brackets and minus minimum range. So that's actually not a bad haul. Not a bad haul at all. All right, uh, 90,000, that's actually a lot less than I thought it was going to be. I thought we would be up around 150, but I don't think we lost any components. So it's not like we're, it's just all the armor that was stripped off. So the Helopolis, I want to bring up to the front. Ah, man, we're like 14 days away from a fight. How are we doing for money? We've got our financial report. I mean, I might jump. Is there anything we want to do here? Like... Nine days, we'd have the Wolverine and the Talos back. So we'd be short a mech. Um, or would we? Yeah, we'll be, we'll be short a mech. No, because we have the Hunchback. So we can, we can stay here. We'll wait nine days, get our Wolverine and Talos back. So we'll have this and this back. And then we'll go ahead and take some more missions here. I mean, it's not going to... I mean, we can take the one, this one skull. We can do the base defense. Those are pretty simple, I think. Uh, a, lot of, a couple of target acquisitions. This one, I think... That was... The last one was a two skull, and we kind of got lucky with the roll on that one on where everyone was placed. So... I'm uh, kind of iffy about that. If these were one and a half, I think that's probably our sweet spot. But we're not bringing the Helopolis, so one... I don't know. we got two more missions we can take on this planet. So I think we, we're, what we'll do, we probably... Uh, maybe next episode it'll either be this guy or this guy. That's an escort, and that's just too easy at one skull, I think. I mean, both of these are pretty good, too. Um, this one's a little trickier because, you know, after three turns you've got a whole bunch of mechs attacking as opposed to this one, which is usually like one lance or turrets and then one lance. And then this one is like maybe three lances of mechs, so, or two. But yeah, I think, I mean, we got we have options here. What's this guy? Recovery? Yeah, that's a, probably a quick one too. But yeah, we, we have options. We need to make... I want to try and get this, the Junk Leopard. So at, at some point we'll be going for that. But I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.